the transfer portal. It hasn't just changed the recruiting aspect, it has changed every aspect in the entire landscape of the game. But we all know this by this point in time, so let's not act too brand new here. But what we gotta talk about in today's video is a current 5-star recruit just did one of the strangest and oddest things you're ever gonna see. And more importantly, this isn't just any 5-star recruit, this was the number one quarterback and also the number one overall player in his class coming out of high school. There's not another way to put it, it's odd. We're going to talk all about that, but also we had to talk about the cinnamon rolls and what they've been doing. They have been killing it on the recruiting side, and you remember the backup quarterback for the cinnamon rolls, Tate Rodemaker? He's just announced where he's going. It is more than safe to say we got a jam packed video, but alright, Matt, blah, 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 shut the crap up. Now, what I'm afraid of, do. Yes. Oh yeah, by the way, I know this is kind of random, but to everyone out there, please be safe because we got this winter, isn't it a winter storm coming in, but also there's supposed to be severe tornadoes and stuff going on in the southeast, so if you're in the southeast or you're getting the winter side of this, just please be safe out there. I know the panhandle of Florida, like around Panama City Beach and southern parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama, they're supposed to get hit by that, so stay safe. The severe weather is always the most concerning because you can't avoid it. With winter weather, it's self-explanatory. Stay off the roads, and if you're on the roads, be careful. Didn't want to throw that in there, but first things first, let's start off with this Tate Rodemaker news and just get out of the way. There's not too much to be said about it. He was a backup quarterback for Florida State. Was he really good? Was he really bad? Hard to determine because he didn't play that much. And only the real deal serious game he played against Florida this year, the game he started, he didn't do so well. Off the top of my head, I remember it. He was 12 for 25. Wasn't anything special, but it's one game. That's not large enough sample size for me to evaluate a quarterback. And it was somewhat shocking news right before the Georgia game when he announced that he's entering the transfer portal. It did catch me off guard a little bit, but I think Florida State, they gave the message to him early on that, yeah, they're going to be going after another quarterback in the portal, rightfully so, because Tate Rodemaker, with all due respect, wasn't going to lead you to the promised land next year. They knew that, and I think he knew that, and that's why he decided to depart. Well, take a look at this. He wound up committing to Southern Miss. I'm not going to go as far as saying, oh my goodness, this caught me off guard, but I didn't see it coming. But the more I look at it, I love it. This is a win-win, and I love when quarterbacks go to a school where they know they can start and play right away. Sure, he could have tested the waters down at another big-time Power 5 school, but with going to Southern Miss... It's self-explanatory. You know, the coaching staff knows he's going to be the starter. And it's always been my logical thing for recruits. Why not go to a school in which you know you're going to play at? For a lot of these quarterbacks, that's what it comes down to. They don't care where they go. They just want to play. Of course, if you can be the starter at Florida State, you'd rather go there. But that's much easier said than done. If you go to any of these top 10 teams like Ohio State, Michigan, Alabama, Georgia, Florida State, Texas, Oklahoma, you're going to be battling for that quarterback spot with three to four other guys. And here's a kicker with all of that. These other three to four guys you're battling with, they were also a four or five star recruit. Granted, I will throw this in there. Iron sharpens iron, so remember that. I'm not saying run away for competition. I think it's going to better you in this life. But the point I'm trying to get across here is if you want to play, go to a school in which you know you're going to play at. And that's going to happen at Southern Miss. Instead of competing with other four and five star recruits at the quarterback position, he'll be competing against two and maybe three stars. Great pickup for them. I think they're going to love them and I think it's a great fit for him because he'll get to play. Wishing him the best luck there. Moving along to our second topic but keeping it with the Florida State news. Check this out. Florida State just landed not one but two former Alabama players and We'll talk more about this in the days to come. But for now, at least, this is the breaking news. They just picked up Alabama wide receiver Malik Benson. Malik Benson last year, coming out of JUCO, was the number one player ranked in JUCO, and he did have somewhat of a disappointing season for Alabama. Off the top of my head, I believe he only had 163 total receiving yards, so not very good. And it's not that he played bad, it's more so of he wasn't given a great opportunity. I think that's a good way to put it. I think that's a good pickup for Florida State, just didn't work out in Alabama, nothing more to be said there. But this was the biggest pickup that I think Florida State got. They got Alabama's defensive back, Earl Little. A lot of people aren't going to know this name, Earl Little Jr., and the reason is because he didn't play this year for Alabama. He was the backup. But you also got to throw in there the reason he was the backup is because Alabama had really good defensive backs and cornerbacks. And a lot of people were somewhat shocked that Earl Little Jr. wasn't starting this year because he made a running for it in the offseason. Long story short, though, he doesn't start, and he would have started next year unless something crazy happened, but he decided, nah, I'm not risking it. I'm going in the portal, and ends up deciding to go to Florida State. I think that is beyond a great pickup for Florida State. That's phenomenal. He is going to make that defense so good, and he will be a day one starter. Like I said, he probably would have started at Alabama if he would have stayed, but yeah, decided to go elsewhere. Wish him the best luck there. Mike Norvell is doing a heck of a job in the transfer portal, so hats off to him. And congrats to the Florida State fan base. These are big pickups, so do not 
underestimate them. I could talk about that all day, but we are going to move on to the main topic, the main encore, the main reason you clicked onto this video. What is going on with this former five-star recruit? When I say his name, it should ring a bell. Malachi Nelson. Y'all remember him, right? The number one overall, not just quarterback, number one overall recruit in his respected class. This guy was a beast. And keep in mind, in the class of 2022, he was ranked ahead of guys like Nico Imaleva at Tennessee and also Arch Manning. And as we all know, or you should know, Malachi Nelson winds up committing and signing with USC. And it was projected that once Caleb Williams left to the NFL draft, he was going to be a starting quarterback. And I thought that was a recipe for success because Nelson was going to get there, have one year to not just learn, but develop under Caleb Williams and Lincoln Riley. That way, in 2024, when he becomes a full-time starter, he's ready to go. And my only assumption is either one or two things happen here. Either A, Malachi Nelson wasn't too happy there in general, or B, Lincoln Riley told him, hey, we're probably going after a quarterback in the transfer portal, so you might want to consider your options elsewhere. Either one of those two happened, and it doesn't matter which one happened. The bottom line is he entered the portal, and he is leaving. And you would think that the former number one overall recruit, number one quarterback, and five-star quarterback at that, would go to a big-time top 10 or top 15 school, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is not what happened here. And Malachi Nelson shot the entire world when he announced he's going to be committing to Boise State. I'm going to say that one more time. The number one overall quarterback in the nation coming out of high school has just committed to Boise State. And I mean this with all due respect to the Boise State program, fan base, and everybody involved with them. This isn't something you see every day. And you almost have to question, why would a five-star go to Boise State? There's no other way to put this. It's odd, it's strange, it's weird, and I'm still trying to rationalize why in the world he would do this. The one conclusion I continue to come back to, though, is this right here. He was guaranteed the starting job, and he just wants to play. It doesn't matter where he's playing, he wants to play. Simple as that, and I don't fault him for it. Same thing we just talked about with Tate Rodemaker. Yeah, he didn't go to a big-time program. He went to Southern Miss, but hey, he's going to be a starting quarterback. I think that's what you're seeing here because Malachi Nelson didn't want to risk going to another school like USC, another top school out there, and battling it out and not winning the starting job. Because you got to think about it. Let's just say, theoretically speaking, Michael Nelson would have went to Ohio State, lost the starting quarterback job to whoever, and now that is two years in a row in which he's a backup quarterback and not playing football. He didn't want that to happen, and I can't fault him for it. I would have done the same thing. But although I would have done the same thing, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is an odd situation and you don't see it happen every day. Normally when former five-star recruits and big-time players are in the transfer portal, they go to another notable school and program in college football. And let me make this clear because you're going to have all these people say, well, Matt, Boise State goes 10-2, 11-1 and every single year. And look, I get that. I'm not saying this is a bad fit whatsoever. I haven't said that at all. It may wind up being a great fit. What I'm saying is, you can't act like this isn't odd and it isn't strange. This wasn't a former four-star recruit, the number 10th ranked over quarterback coming out of high school. This guy was ranked ahead of Nico Imaleva and Arch Manning, and he winds up going to Boise State. Think about that. Very, very, and I mean very, very, very weird, to say the least. And unless I'm highly misinformed here, I don't think Boise State is big in the NIL department. Maybe these potato farmers up there are giving all these players NIL deals, but I haven't heard anything about it. And I'm extremely curious because I have no idea. Somebody explain to me why you think he did this in the comment section down below. Like I've already told you, my theory about this is he knows he can start from the jump there right away and he won't have to compete with any other quarterbacks. Outside of that, though, I'm clueless. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. But, darwin